Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So today, I'm going to be covering probably what is one of the most insane and crazy changes that we have seen here in Season of Discovery. They're doing something completely revolutionary, and I was very worried about this because of the implica implications that it has with our tier one year and how that has sort of changed how some classes are played because of their set bonuses. However, it's looking like Blizzard has an awesome solution for this problem and I can't wait to see how it plays out. But before we get into the video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything you guys do helps my channel grow, helps me get discovered, and helps me help as many people as possible, which is the entire point of my channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So, before we switch it over, this is a massive, massive, um, spoiler alert. If you do not want this to be, um, spoiled for you, click off the video now because I do not want to be the bearer of bad news. So, anyway, we are going to switch it over now and I am going to talk about the change. So, new armor affixes found in Season of Discovery phase 5 ptr so with season of discovery phase 5 ptr available for testing we have data mined some interesting affixes coming to blackwing lair tier 2 set items so we have draconic and we have core forged tier 2 pieces so right here we have the nemesis robes and this is draconic so this is the new one and then we have core forged which is the tier two same exact stat line but with your tier one molten core set bonus so you'll be able to sort of mix and match these you could actually have a four set of both of them if you want to which is probably where most classes might end up because some of these are quite powerful if their six set really isn't that like super amazing um, I definitely have been looking at that for Feral Druid and considering that, which could be very cool to see because we're no longer need FR gear, so we'll be able to sort of get that nice balance going with that. And something also peculiar here is that the they have Frost Res and Nature Res on our Tier 2. And, you know, AQ is Nature Res and Nax Hermes is, uh, is Frost Res. So that's going to be something to keep in mind there, guys, um, as well. But... This is a really good change because you could either go 4 and 4 split, but you also, some of these set bonuses really change the way a class plays, really changed how you might uh, go about like tanking, for example, on a Feral Druid, or, you know, mages aren't really that crazy, it's just a flat DPS increase, so not very exciting, but it is what it is. But some of these set bonuses are really in-depth and really change the class and how it is played, so I was really concerned, like, what were we going to do with that? Would, would the set bonuses from MC be so powerful that you would never swap it out? Well, now we have an awesome solution, and I think this is a good change because of the new stuff that we have gotten and how much it changes your class and how it's played. I see nothing wrong with giving players player choice. Um, if this was a normal classic sort of uh, playthrough and we had the permanence in that, I wouldn't really like this because I think that what made classic awesome is having like this is the gear this is what you get you have to sacrifice that for this but with sod and these being new tier sets instead of playing with the tier sets for 10 weeks and then just they're gone and you're never going to do it again i like this keeping it in the game and moving it forward as well so i'm going to switch it back over here and we're going to take a look at the tier sets that i have for my bear so what i was referring to is mainly if we look here um, like, my two set allows me to cast Rebirth and Innervate wall in bear form. So, like, I don't have to shapeshift out and weave that. That used to be a skill gap that you would have to do. Um, you can have your other tank taunt to do this. You could, um, do quite a lot. Now I'm just thick enough that I can just go out of form and do it if I really have to. There's no reason to do it because of that two set. But it is a really nice just quality of life thing to be able to do that so you don't have to like go out. Then Enrage no longer reduces your armor and it's a 30 second cooldown. So I can pop Enrage here and it will actually it's actually strong enough to maintain my rage the entire time um if i have a rage bar and i just pop this on cooldown it will not go down enough and i will definitely show you that um 
in a moment here, but you can just pretty much use Rage on cooldown and maintain your Rage, which is a very nice thing if you already currently have Rage. It's like designed almost perfectly. Um, so in 30 seconds here, when this comes up, I will show you what I mean by that. So as you can see, I gained four Rage. So I had four Rage. So I technically can Rage up four at a time all the way to 100, but popping this every 30 seconds, I can stay Rage capped and never have to uh, go out of it. So like in a raid, when I'm at 100 Rage, as long as I pop in Rage on cooldown, I will be good. And then our six set is just more threat, and then cower is a pure threat drop. So this is what I meant when, like, yeah, it's nice, but it's not really required. So I could very easily see myself going four set, four set of Core Forge and the other one, if that does work. I'm not sure if it would work, but it could be some really cool awesome scenarios and it just gets my theory crafting brain going thinking about all these possible setups and situations but anyway let me know what you guys think about this do you like the core forge draconic idea do you like the tier sets coming forward as i said because it is sod i really like that idea i figured might as well test it and they put in so much work to make these uh sets really good and go forward and they changed a lot and they added so much so having seeing them just go away after 10 weeks would probably be really sad so it's nice to see them have more of a lasting effect here and i think it could be a fun little thing especially when we get into bwl to sort of have that two four sets going into it and see what we can create and some crazy sort of gearing paths that everyone can use so anyway i look forward to it i think it's a welcome change and i think it'll be fun to see but i look forward to hearing what you guys have to say definitely let me know and until next time i'll see you later hope you have a great day bye hey you yes you are you still there well I appreciate you for taking the time to watch this entire video and making it to the end here. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the other videos about World of Warcraft listed in these playlists down below. And thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.